Hi everyone, this is Sue from IC Sugar. Today I'm going to show you how I made um, some realistic looking chocolate leaves and um, a carrot for the recent Peter Rabbit cake that I made. Um, when I was putting the cake together, I had just about finished and I looked at it and thought that something was missing and didn't quite know what and then decided that I needed some lettuce leaves. So um, that's all good and fine, but I've never made <laughs> lettuce leaves before in my life. So I was sort of left with a bit of a dilemma as to what I was going to do, how was, was I going to make it, um, what did I need? So I had a little bit of a look through, had some cosleaf lettuce in the fridge um, and some chocolate um, choco coat uh, paste in the cupboard. So I figured, look, I'll, I'll see how, how it worked. And I'm, I'm, really, I'm really happy with the results. Um, I think it came out looking pretty realistic. So anyway, so what I did was I chose a couple of leaves that I liked, uh, uh, as in the cos lettuce leaves, and uh, washed them, tapped them dry with a paper towel. Um, I've rolled out my chocolate paste, as you can see, and I have rolled it out reasonably thin on the ends so that when I actually press it into the leaf, it actually um, will take on all the veins and the pattern of the leaf. And um, as you can see, I've used the back of the leaf and not the front because it's more defined uh, on the back. Um, as this was the first time that I'd made these leaves, I sort of found that if the chocolate was too thin, um, it doesn't sort of dry straight away and doesn't stay as firm as I had liked. So the whole idea about making it is to make sure that the chocolate leaf is a little bit thicker around the base. So if you're going to put it upright um, or you're going to insert a skewer into it or some wire, which is what I did later on, um, then it will firm up somewhat. As you can see here, I'm holding it and it's still really, really soft. It does harden to a certain extent where it will stay flexible, um, but it will hold its shape, which is pretty cool. And I, I actually really like chocolate. I haven't been using it for, for a really long time, but it's pretty cool. You can do lots of fun things with it. Um, Okay, so what I use for this, um, and as you can see, there's a label coming up, um, the Vision Choco Coat Satin Ice Gum Paste. I use that for the carrots. Um, the Sugar Flare Super White, Americolor Electric Green, Americolor Electric Orange, uh, Woodland Brown, Wilton Moss Green, and my really, really trusty Clear Vodka. Um, and you can see I've got my rolling pin there um, and my plate, which I've just um, mixed the colours that I want in there. And a paintbrush. Um, so with any lettuce leaf, if you look at it really closely, you'll see that the middle of them is white or, or well, not white, but a really pale green. So I took a whole heap of the sugar flare, poured it on the plate as you saw, added a little bit of vodka to it and um, uh, just a little bit of green. And so just colour that through the middle of the leaf and that looks pretty realistic. Now I've started off with the lighter tones around the base um, and you can't see it really clearly on the video but I work it into the leaf pattern. But just be mindful that if you rub too hard on the chocolate, it will lose the um, the finer veins. So you don't want to do that. You sort of want to brush hard enough so that it sort of coats it and it fills the gaps, but it's not too hard that you're actually going to lose your vein patterns. Um, around the outside, I've got the slightly the, the darker tone and if you can see on my plate I just sort of mix the colours to get something that I want and using my real leaf as a reference which is there somewhere. Um, so just uh, darker on the outside and with all leaves they're always darker at the top and they um, well cos lettuce leaves that is and um, and uh, become lighter on the way in. So you can use your real leaf as, as, um, as a reference what you can also see that I'm doing here is I'm still cupping the chocolate in my hand. Um, your hand is quite warm, so the chocolate 
will still hold its shape, but it will become really, really soft and floppy. Don't let this concern you. Just keep going um, until you've actually painted the whole surface of the front of the leaf. When you've done that, you lay it down and I just put something behind it just to support it. And I, after an hour or so, it will have started to set. When that's done and it's set, you can pick it up um, and I just hold it at the base, which is where, um, which is not the part that I need to show anyway. And I paint the back of it just in one colour. So you don't need to be as particular about the back of it unless you're going to show the back of it on your cake, but I didn't. So, so I just painted the pack, back of it in a pale green. Um, yeah, so... Um, um, so here I'm just filling in a little bit of the colour, just making sure I'm quite happy with it. And I have put it down and you see in the background, um, I've got a few of them and one of my old kid, one of my kids old, my little pony cups. So anyway, <laughs> an old cup that I had in the cupboard. Um, with the carrot, I have pre-moulded um, the actual shape of the carrot and I did it the day before this video actually. Um, I used the gum paste and the carrot wasn't totally set. It was still a little bit soft in this video. Uh, I am holding a skewer. So I had inserted the skewer into the, uh, or oh, well, I moulded the gum paste around the skewer just, um, just to sort of get something that represented the shape of a carrot. Now, if you look at the carrot, um, they're all different. They're you know, skinny here, fat there, whatever. So they all look different. Um, so don't be particular about having what looks to be that perfect carrot shape. It's not, if you buy a bag of carrots, you'll see that they all, none of, none of them are the same. Um, and again, carrots are orange, but they're not all one tone. So if you look at it, you have light areas and dark areas and black areas and all sorts. So um, I'm just using my, my orange paste, brushing it on, adding a little bit of white to it in spots, um, not being overly particular for it, that it doesn't need to look perfectly one colour orange. Um, and in fact, the more shade and tone that you have, the more realistic it's going to look. What, and I'm doing it around, um, I have got a bit of patterning and some lines in the carrot, so I'm doing it around in the shape of the way the lines go. And uh, adding a little bit of brown just to make it look as realistic as possible. Okay, in the foreground, the real carrot and the real lettuce. In the background, the sugar paste, carrot and the chocolate lettuce. And you can see that if you're looking at it from distance, you probably couldn't tell the difference. Um, thank you for joining me. Uh, any questions, uh, anything you'd like to know, feel free to send me a message and I will be happy to respond to you.